Representative Evia Tomi from Delta State said despite the fact that casualization status of these workers and the non-concession to the host communities in the recent recruitment of graduate trainees is a matter before the House of Representatives Public Petition Committee, the management still went ahead to lay off 300 indigenous workers of Wari Refinery. That in the heat of this COVID-19 epidemic that is ravaging Nigeria and the world at large, management of Wari Refinery, Petrochemical Company, have gone ahead to serve over 300 workers of the casual staff of the refinery. In spite of the federal government directive that no government agency or private establishment should serve or lay off the staff. Representative Sumaila Suleiman from Kaduna State, however, amended the prayers of the motion to include those recently sacked by Kaduna Refinery. This is exactly what is happening in Kaduna Refining and Petrochemical Company. We have last week laid off about 175 staff of uh, the company. So I want to suggest that uh, the resolution to carry Worry Refinery and Kaduna Refining are a petrochemical company. Avia Tommy also made it clear on the floor of the house that if it does not intervene immediately, there may be a breakdown of law and order in that community. From the National Assembly, Abdul Yusuf, Liberty News.